Get out your double D's. Let's do some dipping. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a beer review. And here we have from uh, Fordham, I think. It said Fordham and Dominion Brewing Company in Dover, Delaware. A double IPA in untapped is listed as an imperial, imperial slash double. 8% alcohol, 90 IBUs is what it says. And we have, it looks like a picture inspired by World War II uh, aircraft artwork. Um, that's my guess. So this is the double D, double IPA. Uh, her parents named her <laughs> Deanie, Deanie Davis. Uncle Sam assigned her call letters double D. This daring Imperial IPA uh, detonates at 90 IBUs and 5% alcohol by volume. Okay, they're trying to be silly, I guess. I don't know. I've not had anything. Oh, it says right there, Fordham and Dominion. I don't believe I've ever had any of their beers. So, I'm, ooh, my goodness. That has got some nice notes right off the bat. There's a date on the bottle that's back in September, which I don't know if that means when it was bottled or when it was Best Buy, but at 8% alcohol, if it was bottled on September 3rd, this is still uh, quite in its range. I mean, this is November uh, 9th, but so we're good. So we got a nice kind of goldy, slight peachy, a little hazy. Um, mm, grapefruit. Mm. Oh. Oh, and it's got that thickness and bitterness bite. Ooh, and it's kind of late. Mm, even the foam is bitter. Nice grapefruit flavors. Very intense, and they're not sweet. Bitter on the back end. Mm. Wow, that is a near textbook double IPA. So 8% alcohol. Brewed slowly, so it doesn't have a, a big alcohol burn of any kind. Very, It's got a little bit of a bite from the alcohol, but very tiny. It's got a nice, thick, juicy, um, it's not piney, but it is fruity, uh, hop bill to it. The, the hops just kind of coat your tongue. And around it dances a little bit of malty sweetness, but not much. Beautiful color. I don't know if that's a chill haze or just, and I know the glass is clean. And because of the Sam Adams glass, we get excellent carbonation. The ball, bubbles rising, nice, pu uh, creamy white head. Mm. Foam on top. It's, and it's just like the foam just dances over your tongue, cleans it off. And here comes some more grapefruit. Because that's what I get from this. The bitterness feels piney. But the, but the flavors feel real uh, like grapefruit. Not, I don't get like lemon or orange, but I do get some grapefruit flavors out of that. Almost exclusively. Aroma on the head, on the nose as well. And this is a great beer. Especially if this was on draft, that bitterness would probably be a little toned down. And this would be a, a very good beer to have with a decent meal that isn't too bitter. Or too, like too much vinegar or stuff like that. So, if you're doing steak, cheeseburgers, you know, chicken. You could do hot. Oh, oh yeah, this with hot food. Say hot, spicy barbecue wings that have a hint of sweetness, not a lot. I know that's hard to get. So many barbecue places have got these really sweet sauces, but more of like a cayenne sauce. Maybe a buffalo sauce, but more of a cayenne, habanero type uh, sauce. Not a chipotle, uh, not a roasted pepper uh, sauce, though. Maybe some grilled onions and stuff like that. But man, that is gr very good. That is really good. I really like that beer. So I'm going to give it a four point, something I rarely give anything, and that's four and three quarters. Because I just want to give a little bit of judgment to say if I ever have this on draft, i got to have a quarter point more, because I'm betting it's a five. Mm. That is fantastic. So I got this over in the singles. So if that is a best buy date, and it's two months on, it's still good, so that's the other quarter point. If that is a bottled on, then we're still good, So, I, which I don't know. It just has a date. So if anyone that you knows about Dominion, uh, um, was it Hanford? Uh, Ford Ham, I got it backwards. Ford Ham and Dominion, the dates they put on here, are they Best Buy dates? Are they bottled on dates, born on, whatever you want to say? 
Um, but the double IPA is very good. This is almost a textbook uh, example of a double IPA. Just enough bitterness. It's one of the dogs. There's something around me. But it's still very drinkable, very enjoyable. Have this with a meal of about any kind, except something with high in vinegar or high bitter, high um, sourness, not bitterness. I think it would contrast, but something really spicy, some good Thai, flavorful Thai food, Chinese, Korean. Um, oh, oh, ooh, hot kimchi would be good with this. Um, but uh, any, you know, any anything spicy would be really good. Meaty chili. Barbecue, wings, wangs, any of those would also go very well with this. So have you had the double D? You think four and three quarters is too much, not enough? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for subscribing over here. And thanks for sharing on all your social media. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Goodbye. That was pure stupid, Toby. a good date. It's a date, but I don't know what it, what it's re referencing.